Of course, I'm here partly, of course, with the invitation of the Crown Prince, but also to use the opportunity to, to, to speak to other leaders, um, for example, the King of Bahrain, Amir of Qatar, and um, uh, uh, Muhammad, Sheikh Mohammed Zayed. Uh, but uh, I must say that the, the leadership given by Crown Prince Mohammed Salman and his firm position is much appreciated. Uh, from here, I'm leaving for Istanbul uh, to meet uh, President Tayyip Erdogan and then uh, move on to uh, Kahira to meet uh, President Sisi. Uh, because we are far away, distant land, but we are Muslims. But more important, we believe in justice and humanity. Uh, so uh, the main players, of course, in the region. So what the Arab countries say is important. That's why I have to listen to them and, and uh, render all support possible. I mean, um, they uh, use the narrative and we will support them in every way possible. That is why I think I will continue to engage with uh, most of them. And um, whatever is necessary, for example, now, um, under the uh, initiative uh, taken by uh, uh, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, then you have the foreign ministers. OIC, which is remarkable. You can see the position taken, which is a major shift from the past. There is a unanimity, there is consensus, and then uh, whether to take it up to the United Nations or engage f firmly with Europe and uh, America, which has been you know, quite um, hypocritical and contradicting themselves. Uh, I always cite this example of Russia and Ukraine, and Israel and Palestine. You make two sets of laws. Uh, so um, I think uh, the measures are be still being discussed, what need to be done, but the priority is of course humanitarian assistance. Uh, then there will not be a solution until we resolve the Palestinian case. You know, uh, humanitarian is, a, is a, an immediate uh, issue, but the Palestinian issue must be resolved. Otherwise, there will not be peace. Um, now, if I may add, what is our concern? If you allow this to continue, the violence and war will spread. And if the international community, including the United States, uh, can ignore the plight, you are actually inviting extremism and uh, terrorism. And, and we must stop this. We, as uh, the international community, must take all measures to stop any form of uh, terror. But how do you resolve this? By having an international order that can be trusted as fair, just. Uh, but if we, if we choose to ignore, there are two I say, the, the potential dangers. Number one, the danger of uh, the extremists uh, taking the narrative. Second, you may provoke an uh, unintentional um, extension of uh, the war. And this is, of course, something that we must avoid. Mm -hmm.